say you want to go cycling but don't feel like wearing a jersey what do you wear uh, in this video we're gonna do something different we're gonna go to Target and shop for some cycling clothes so let's go see what we can find and then when we get home we will talk about what we bought and why so is it pronounced Target or Target depends on whether you're French or not <laughs> there it is the great Target all right, here we are. Uh, let's see what we can find. You excited? <laughs> Am I excited about walking around Target with a camera? Absolutely. <laughs> As a note, totally not sponsored by Target. <laughs> So what's this material? You said it's, it's rayon? Yeah, so this is 100% rayon. I did my research. Um, it's actually a natural fiber. It's not necessarily um, the greatest process to make rayon. It was developed to be a, a cheaper alternative to silk. So it's designed to breathe well. It's designed to be lightweight. Um, in my experience, rayon just wears really nicely. It drapes nicely and it uh, dries really fast. And the uh, best part is, boom. <laughs> but I think you should get this one. Oh. Nice. <laughs> bananas. <laughs> I don't know, should I get bananas or the other one? Mm. Bananas. Ferns. I think I'm gonna go with the ferns. Target does have like a more performance oriented, so you can, you know, if a loud print is not your thing, they do have uh, textile shirts, synthetic, moisture wicking. Oh, nice golf polo. You can go bike golfing. <laughs> <laughs> I like the camo. They feel like, whoa. <laughs> they're, they're like it's like a plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, probably not this. Is <laughs> it Aloha shorts? Oh. oh, these actually aren't as scratchy. <laughs> we have found the sheep version. <laughs> yeah, it's gravel casual, man. <laughs> All right, so we just uh, wrapped up our little shopping excur excursion at Target. Uh, we're gonna head home and then unpack, share with you guys uh, what we got and why we got them. So, see you there. I bought the banana shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back from uh, Target and uh, we're gonna share with you guys what we ended up buying. But before we get into it, a couple reasons why you might wanna go this route. Uh, one is that uh, it's really inexpensive. I mean, for the price of a complete like cycling kit, so jersey and bibs, I mean, that's over like a hundred bucks for like a cheap set. Uh, I think, would we spend total? 50. 50 bucks. So price, you know, if you're on a budget, definitely makes sense. Mm -hmm. And uh, on this trip, you went to a department store, but certainly you can do this at a uh, thrift shop. We've definitely bought plenty of button downs. Russ lovingly calls me the sweater whisperer <laughs> because I have this knack for finding wool sweaters at thrift shops. Uh, it's a great way to find cheap wool. One of the great things about a place like Target is that not only do they have uh, casual clothes, they also have athletic clothes. So you mm -hmm. have, you can pick and choose. It lets you buy things that look like normal clothes so that you know, you can be biking and then mm -hmm. go to dinner afterwards or stop and get coffee or beer or whatever and you're not like the cyclist. By wearing civilian clothing, it's got a real like humanizing factor. Mm -hmm. May or may not be important to you, but when we like to tour, we, we generally like to to, to blend, well, bl I don't know how much I'd blend in with the banana shirt. <laughs> it definitely humanizes you though. That's true. <laughs> I mean, you're not just like a, a human sausage, just mm. may wear colorful prints. <laughs> Generally, when we look for uh, cycling clothing that isn't cycling specific, uh, what are we looking for? We tend to look for things that are a looser cut, so things that will flutter uh, with the breeze a little bit. Uh, helps not only to uh, helps with you know the the breeze flowing through the fabric, keeping you cool. It also helps to uh, manage sweat and kind of get it off of your body quicker. Uh, all right, so. Clearly, I got the banana shirt, <laughs> and I also picked up uh, the uh, the other pattern, which is I don't know. This is how loud you, fern. Yeah, loud fern. <laughs> it's rayon, um, so it's quasi organic slash synthetic. I mean, it, it's made the the raw material is like a cellulose that then gets processed through science. <laughs> <laughs> it's technically not considered a synthetic because it is made from plant fibers, but uh, I would still consider it a synthetic because it's not. Like cotton, you don't just like weave it, you know, as, right. as it is. Um, it's vegan. <laughs> uh, what do you end up getting? Uh, two shirts just like this. So sleeveless. Um, what's nice uh, is that it's, you know, it's a 
it's a sleeveless cut, but it's not like a skimpy tank top, so it's got a nice high back, so I don't have to wear as much sunscreen. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's easy to layer if I if I wanted to. Um, so in a couple of colors, and it's long and it's loose, um, which makes it easy to wear with a number of things. And that's a, that's what's kind of cool. I mean, we went the direction of getting these rayon shirts, but there, you can also buy you know anything that's that's a poly fabric or a poly blend fabric it wicks away pretty well and it's still going to flutter and it's going to help you deal with um heat and sweat and all that jazz so if you're uh, just getting into cycling and don't want to go the jersey route you guys have options <laughs> or even if you're not if, even if you're a long time cyclist but you're tired of wearing jerseys and you want something that you know you could go to dinner and afterwards and not feel weird yeah or play golf in or or something <laughs> Or just wear bananas, cause you can rock the you two can rock the gravel casual look. So for this video, uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys wear? Are you jersey only people? Do you like to uh, wear other types of clothing? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, and as always, keep the supple side down.